One thing I want to talk about today is the uh, Zion Williamson uh, Pelicans controversy. The Pelicans are a team I, I don't think we ever talked about on this podcast for real yet. Maybe we did like a pre Hell. Yeah. Hell no, no we haven't. No. And if we have, it's never been anything like significant. Like I, I really don't care about that. I don't care about this team at all. Um, I don't think they're dysfunctional, but I just don't. They have a weird hodgepodge of talent. You know what I mean? Guys that I just don't think fit together. You know, I, I don't know how to judge the Pelicans as an organization. I, I thought they had it right a couple years ago, then they just didn't. You know what I'm saying? So they are what they are. But J.J. Redick basically ripped into Zion Williamson. Um, C.J. McCollum said at All-Star Weekend that he hadn't spoken to Zion Williamson just yet. After being traded to the Pels, uh, J.J. Redick ripped him on first take, saying that uh, he never seemed invested in the Pelicans, Zion Williamson. And not only is, not only is he saying that about this season, but he's saying about about the time when he was there in uh, yeah. uh new orleans you know yeah yeah jj jj don't be lying he a jj a real dude yeah so when he said it because you know he really don't talk shit about a lot of people but mm-hmm. so once he said it it's kind of it made you think is it really true it probably yeah. is because you yeah. really don't even because for zion to be hurt you really don't even you only saw him on the sidelines a couple games really yeah. i know he's rehabbing but you tell me you still can't show up and you know yeah. support the team or something I don't know. yeah I I, I kind of want to know what it, what he, what he's doing to not show that he's invested. You know what I mean? I think this CJ McCollum thing is kind of an example, but I want to know what else it is. Is it like not caring at practice or whatever? Because I never got that from him. People have said it, but I never got yeah, that. Yeah. yeah, I never got that. I never got that he was kind of like an attitude, a dude who came with an attitude, dude who like showed he didn't want to play. I don't think it's an attitude. I just personally don't think him and his family want to be in New Orleans. I True. think that's all it is. I don't think True. it's him having an attitude. I think it's just him showing – Y'all need to get me up out of here as soon as you can because I'm not well one. He doesn't even stay healthy enough. So I don't even know if he has that, you know, uh leverage on the team like that to even say yeah. that, first of all. So I agree. Um, reading an article today, to your point, people were saying that it'll be he's one of the youngest guys to be in the situation to where very soon he's gonna start demanding a trade. We never yeah. see a guy this young do it, you know. But guess, but guess what? He's actually uh, been injured more games than he's played. I That's think true. he's been he's been hurt like almost 100 games and he only played 80. That's terrible. Yeah. So that's, that's, Anthony, awful. that's Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis, like, yeah, it, it really is. So let me just what do you, what do you think of? I don't. I I think it's I think it's I think it's kind of trash that you get drafted first overall to a team if and you show that you're such a great player and you embrace the hype. He embraced the New Orleans hype. He drew Brees. All those guys in New Orleans embraced the hell out of him. He embraced it with that little limp walk he got. He was he showed it. Walk. You know that what I'm talking about too. That little did yeah, that little th- yeah. That boy can't walk straight. Be a good. But they he did all of that embracing. The city wants him. The city the city really needed that signature guy. They Anthony Davis left on bad terms. You know, years later, not that long later, you end up getting a dude like Zion. Really, just a year later, you get a Zion Williamson, who they're thinking is the savior of the franchise, and you embrace him. And it's not like the team – I don't feel like the team has done a bunch of bad stuff. I think Zion wasn't happy about the Stan Van Gundy thing. You know what I mean? Because I've never heard players say anything bad about Stan Van Gundy. I think Zion was mad about them letting him go. But outside of that, I think they did a great job of putting talent around him. You go put out Alonzo. They, remember, they had all the momentum they had before the bubble. Remember that? You know what I'm saying? And, yeah. um, I mean, even so, I don't, I don't remember how healthy he was at that point in time. But still, you know, even the year after. He's an all star, you know, and then they kind of have a period where they kind of get things right. They just couldn't stay. They just couldn't stay consistent. So roster wise, there hasn't been anything where I'm looking at New Orleans. I'm like, well, they're they're not committed to making this a better team for him. And also, bro, you just barely you barely been there. That's what I'm saying. It'd be different if you actually plan all the games. Yeah. If you went out, but you're not even there. You're not a dame to where you've been putting in work for years trying to make something. You're you were drafted to a kind of a quote unquote rebuilding team or a team that's trying to establish a name a little bit yeah. more for themselves. Yeah, You're, yeah, part yeah. of your role is to play is my bad for uh, cutting you off, but a part of your role is to p- play a part of that. And you want to dodge it? Yeah, these younger dudes, I think they 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 got a little bad. They saw what the uh, veterans did by going through a di- the going uh, to a different team after a certain amount of years, but they actually played through their contract. And left with free agency. They just didn't say in the middle of the first two to three years, I want out. Come on, you at least yeah. gotta keep playing until your rookie contract is up. Cause we got <laughs> dudes now, we got dudes now. Zion probably the only one actually. Yeah. That wants to leave and is still on a rookie contract. That'd be like yeah. John Moran want to leave Memphis and he's still on his rookie deal. But have, I'm trying to I, I would like I, if, if somebody out there who's watching got it, I wanted like a list of dudes who 
were ready to just go after that first st- that, that 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 rookie thing was over with. You know what I'm saying? Because this this is I ain't seen this before. You know, and like you said, oh, this is stuff. That, yeah, that normally the players of his type, you know, caliber like players like him, that talent level, they normally get to a second contract, then leave after that second. That's what I'm if saying. Anything, if anything, you ain't put the you haven't. You haven't put it in yet to to put the work in yet to, um, you know, to to be a dude to just straight up be like, well, they're not committed to me or whatever. Now, it may be other stuff we don't know about. It may not be a roster yeah. thing. It, it could be the David Griffin. I don't know his relationship yeah. with David I was, Griffin. I was just about to say David Griffin. Mm-hmm. They said it, this relationship with him is pretty bad. Could that could that could yeah. it does you know? kind of seem a little. Awesome. I don't want to say this word. A little scum, a little scummish, I say. Yeah, yeah. You see, yeah, I don't know, cause he he he'll tell you one thing and do the opposite, which a lot of owners and GMs do. Nah, David, so. David Griffin has always rubbed me the wrong way, and, and yeah, I I definitely now that like I said, that could definitely be a reason. I'm glad you mentioned that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it's it's a newer, weird situation. Usually, this is something we see, as you mentioned, we see it with veterans, with older guys who've been with their team for a very, very, very long time. Um, and uh, it, it's, it's really rough to see because I think I still think New Orleans could build something. You know, I think if he comes back and his contract it isn't, is. yeah, when his contract isn't up to I think 2022, 2023 after that season, maybe, yeah, yeah. at least at least play through that and see something. Yeah. See what happens, doing, but you're doing this in your rookie, like on your rookie contract, and it'd be different if you're on your rookie contract and you played that, help your case yeah. a little bit, mm-hmm. but you miss more of the games, you, you miss more of the games that you played, yeah. Yeah, that and then, sense, yeah, you miss more. You miss more. I think I said it right. You, you miss, miss more, more games. games. Yeah, yeah. And then, um, like I said, I, and just talking about bass from a basketball standpoint, I think they're still just a piece away from actually being a really good, a really good squad. I think they need to figure out the point guard situation. You know, I think they need to get Devontae Graham the hell up out of there because I'm just not a fan of his. I'm just not a fan of Devontae Graham. Yeah, he um, played like a shooting guard more than the point guard. Yeah, and he could be point guard if he wants to because I remember he almost had an eight assist season once, but he's too much of a volume shooter to have around a Brandon Ingram and a CJ McCollum. Um, yeah. You know, I think they need to invest oh, yeah. in the point guard. I think oh, they yeah. need to, yeah, and I think they need to, you know, they've got great young pieces. I'm a big Herb Jones fan. He's been very, very surprising this year with his d- defense and also three point shooting. They're building, they're, they're, they're working towards the right direction. And I think he has to, re- he should recognize that. Um, and then try to ride him right out with him. But like I said, if it is the GM thing, that is kind of tough to just tell a dude to ride out with it because we've seen GMs draw guy or, or draw guys away from the team a lot. LeBron, we saw with Harden and Westbrook. They they the real reason with Houston was they weren't rocking with the GM, the new GM, yeah. you know? Yeah. So um, yeah, it, it is what it is. But uh yeah, let's hope something happens good with New Orleans because, like I said, they they weirdly put up good teams and just haven't made anything happen. Like it, the Anthony Davis years when they after they became the Pelicans, they had some solid squads. You know what I'm saying with Drew Holiday and Ryan.